Hi, I'm Caitlin Lepre with Mammoth Lakes Tourism, and today we are with professional photographer Cody Tuttle, and he's going to be giving us some tips on how to take photos. This segment is brought to you in part by the Inyo National Forest that wants to remind you to leave no trace. So that means when you're out enjoying the wilderness in any way, whether you're hiking or biking, making sure that you're leaving nature as you found it, not picking the flowers, not taking rocks home with you, not building structures. But something you can take home with you is memories and photos. Mm -hmm. And I really think there's no other place that I love more personally than the Eastern Sierra. There's so much to capture here. And Cody, what is it for you about the Eastern Sierra that you love taking photography? You know, it's, it's just inspiring waking up every day to a place that's so yeah. beautiful and, uh, you know, we have such great weather here. Right. It's really easy to find yourself out in the back country taking images. And, um, you know, that's the first step in making great photos is just getting out there and putting yourself in the moment to create images that are going to inspire you to come back. Right. Being exploratory in this area. There's so much to see and so much to check out. And I love that pretty much wherever you're at in Mammoth, there is a mountain, a lake, there's something in the background that's going to be mm -hmm. gorgeous and photo worthy. So, yeah. yeah, it's truly incredible. Yeah. So as far as equipment goes, is there any one specific piece of equipment that you love or is there, you know, what do you bring when you go take photography? You know, there's not really any particular piece of equipment I take every time because it, it changes, you know, depending on if you're going on a full-blown shoot or if you're going into the mountains or if you're going backpacking. Right. Um, so, you know, just bring a camera with you and be ready to capture the moment as you go out and explore. Yeah, there's so yeah. many times I've gone out on runs and then I see a bear or the sunset is just off the hook and mm -hmm. dang, I forgot the camera, the one thing. <laughs> totally. But yeah. yeah. And that's, you know, that's the biggest part is just making sure you're out and that you get off the trail and you change your perspective up. Yeah. And that you wait for the light to get good, you know, you wait for just before sunset or get up early and, and get out for sunrise. Mm -hmm. And that's really when you're going to create the most beautiful images that you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember we were talking earlier about um, getting photography of water. What was the equipment that you were talking about for that? Yeah, so when, when people are photographing water, typically they get an image where it looks like everything is frozen in time. And... Uh, it doesn't create that soft flow of, uh, of moving water through your image. Uh -huh. And so what you need to do there is slow down your shutter speed within your camera. But in order to do that, you'll typically need to purchase a neutral density filter that's going to stop back some of your light. And uh -huh. that's going to allow you to slow down that shutter speed and get the, the water moving softly throughout your image. Nice. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of aspiring photographers that come up to Mammoth because it really is a great place to take yeah. photography or pictures. But um, what would be a single piece of advice that you would give those photographers? You know, you just need to get out there and um, enjoy enjoy the, the beauty around you and make sure you have at least one camera with you, whether it's your iPhone or DSLR, mm -hmm. um, to capture those moments and uh, just wait for the right opportunity to capture good light and get off the trail make sure you change up your perspective yeah and uh, just you know create the image that inspires you to get out there again so when you go home that you're you look at that image and you're like man i gotta i gotta go back and make this happen again right it brings you back to the moment and exactly. i love what you're saying about changing your perspective you're constantly up on the rock when you're rock climbing and you're taking photos of rock climbers you are harnessed in right next to them it's not just the butt shot of them yeah. climbing it's you're right there with them and so it's really incredible to just get off the trail a bit climb totally. up on a rock try something different and uh, you really do get that incredible shot so mm -hmm. Cody thank you so much for being with us today and oh, giving you. us these tips and thank you guys so much for tuning in and we hope to see you up here and taking home some of your own memories as well. But this has been your reminder that the mountains are calling.